25 left. Should I recruit another unit if I can afford it? I can afford it. I could get some units here in Kartuba. I need to have a strong force in, this, in the middle of Spain anyway, so a few more units would be beneficial probably. Uh, I'm look at the upkeep. Oh, 78 upkeep. Yeah, we'll go for some Libyan hoplites. Go for one of them. So Libyan hoplite recruited there, and we have two units of levy pikemen to be recruited in this army. I'm going to try and get a full stack here, and then try and get a decent army there. I can operate with two armies, then one on this in Africa, one in Spain, and then this one, which is should be fairly protected down here, will build up the public order and replenish eventually. But yeah, how do you, what do you guys think of this campaign so far? I mean, we've be completely relocated from the Mediterranean. And this is our province now, these four settlements. Migdol, Tingis, Gadira and Kartuba. Um, we have bread and games going on in Kartuba and Gadira. I need Ayol and Dimidi. I'm too scared to go it too far into Africa at this point in time because I can barely recruit any decent units. I need to start building. I mean, I got this noble quarters. I need to get either a Perioikoi camp because that gives me African archers, Libyan peltas, Nubidian skirmishers, and Libyan slingers, or go for the Hollow Cedaros barracks, which looks like the thing I'll go for, and I get recruitment of Carthaginian cavalry, Numidian cavalry, and African pikes. So that's going to be what I go for next turn in Migdol as well. Migdol's going to be the, like the cent the big base where I recruit my units from. Should be easy to to defend because I've only got to worry about this flank really. So it's very well. Def defended by the sea over here but yeah I think that's all I can do with this turn so I'm gonna end turn again and have another drink of my Vimto in the end turn phase but yeah I'm enjoying this campaign an awful lot and medieval 2 I'll, I'll enjoy that as well I have done a Rome campaign about well not a Rome campaign sorry a Wales campaign on medieval 2 about two or three years ago but it obviously it wasn't for YouTube, it was just one I played. But yeah, I haven't played Medieval 2 for a long time, so it'll probably take me a while to get back to the... Back, you know, used to the game again, the interface and everything. Because it has been a while. But that won't be for another few weeks. See how this campaign goes first. The, the number one thing which you want to watch out for as a YouTuber is... having too many campaigns going on at the same time. Research complete, elephant training, excellent. So we trade agreement. Oh my god. What if I'm being blackmailed? Oh my god. See, I, do I want to bother with that? No, because I lose that money. I can't build that bloody thing up. Little intrigue. Oh, I don't give a shit about this crap. Oh my god, this is bullshit now. Right. <laughs> it's just moaning again. Right. I promise not moan too much. First things first, I need this. Hollis, hollow Cedaros Barracks. That's essential in this campaign right now. We need some decent units. I get a bit more variety with that. This this is doing pretty well now. Two turns for the fishing port, three turns for the Hollow Cedros Barracks. I can do a port. No, I can't do a port. I haven't got enough money. It's 825 I need for that. Uh, I've got enough for any of this crap, have I? Nope. This army's going back to to where it came from. I'm happy with that. Gadira. Can I build anything in Gadira? No, I can't. I haven't got the funds. I am going to see I am going to need more building slots. I need to expand Katuba basically to get some decent units recruited at the moment. I just got the very basics. I need to keep building my my units though. I'm gonna have Katuba recruit some more this turn. So we have two Libyan Hoplites, two Libyan Javelmen. I'll go with one of each this time. I know it's going to be a shit army, but he needs a hold at the moment there. No one's attacking me, which I'm quite surprised with. We're at war with Ebora. I could go for them next. Let's just double check. Who own It's the Celtiki that own Ebora. They only have that one province. Nova Cathago is not far away. They don't own any provinces because they're, they're basically wiped off from the map. Uh, I don't know why the Etruscans are why are they unfriendly towards... No, they, they're friendly towards me. I don't know why they... Why they stop with with trade, it doesn't make sense. Epirus can trade though, so welcome, welcome. let's see. Trade is high, that's good. Uh, military alliance? No. 
They go, they can't help me from over there anyway. Uh, Non-aggression. Do I care about that? Yeah, we'll do that anyway. Payments. Now, I wonder if I can get money off them. Five hundred. Is is high? What about a thousand? Moderate. We'll try a thousand. Wait, hey, excellent. That'll do nicely. Um, love Cathargo. I'm just looking on the map to see. Okay, that's all I can do. But next time we got a thousand more, more coins or denarii. Denarii. These are replenishing still. How many turns for the elephants? Four more turns for the elephants. Four more turns for the elephants. We got the levy pikemen in as well. Which will help us out a lot. Hmm. Way to recruit next. I could actually spend this money on rebuilding some more stuff, which would be a good idea, probably. Hellenistic village, which will help with my. I lose food. That's the only problem with this. But I'm going to be gaining food with the fishing boat. That's going to take two turns. This is going to take three. Yeah, I could do this. I get more growth, more commerce, more of a garrison. Yeah, we'll go with the Hellenistic village out of that money. Migdal would be looking good. I just got sort of Tingis then. Can't afford to do anything else with Tingis at the moment. We're going to be getting 1,483 next turn. Our food is okay at the moment. Get more units in Kartuba. We'll end turn. Another end turn phase in the Great Carthage campaign of Dragonheart. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so full of shit sometimes. It's unbelievable. Anyway. Um... Ooh, what's Athens doing to Epirus? I may, in maybe the next turn or turn after that, or maybe in a future part, I may do like an overview of what's happened in the campaign so far. Just look on the campaign map or the tactical map and just see who owns what province and how was that? How was that different to the first turn of this campaign? Might be interesting. Masaili, I think that's how you pronounce it. Masaili, Persia, Quidri, Rugiai, Sards, or Sardes, Syracuse, Volkai. There we are. Right, faction destroyed. Nova Cathar, they're gone. That's a shame. Sabotage attempt. Oh, you pricks, you pricks, you pricks. Oh, I can see now. It's a spy up by my, my settlement up here. That's, that's not very nice. Mighty Carthage. Alright, let's just have a quick look down here. It's all campaign management stuff at the moment, just to make sure I'm doing everything right. One turn, two turns, two turns. Migdal's going to be looking pretty good in a few turns' time. Some half-decent units here in Migdal. I'm going to recruit another pike unit down here as well, just for the sake of it. <laughs> um, I could... Why did I see? What can I have? I can't do any of this because I'm going to have money. Uh, that's a shame. could get the port, which will give me the garrison. And a bit more wealth as well, 823. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. So Tingis is now being upgraded a little bit as well. They haven't come back, have they? I, d I defeated the Masaili a couple of parts ago and they just haven't bothered coming back to me. I can go on the offensive, I think. Once I've replenished a bit more. 32 turns till it seems fully. Oh, turns, it's three turns. Three turns. Two turns. Oh, it's not bad then. Okay, I tell you what, we'll go with. A unit levy pikeman there. We're gonna go with another unit of Poplites here. And I think we can move out in a few turns, so I'm just gonna wait now two to three turns until I make my move. And then we can try to expand our empire again. The rebirth of Carthage. Carthage and the rebirth. I'm also thinking, uh, once this campaign's over, of doing a second Total War campaign. Oh, what's this? Oh, non-aggression pact. That's a good idea, but I would like some money, if possible. How about a thousand? Moderate? Please, please, please. Ah, oh, bugger. I wish you could have custom amounts, like in Shogun 2. So I could say like 220, 230, 240, rather than having to have a thousand. I'd rather take like 200 off them and have the non-aggression pact than offer a uh, demand for a thousand and and not get anything. I could offer them non-aggression next turn though. We'll see what happens now. That's what they're obviously after and that suits me. That suits me. But yeah, you know, if I do another... Oh. Raise an army or fuck off. 
if I do a second campaign on after this campaign for Total War Rome 2, what faction would you like me to play as? Would you like me to play as Epirus or or one of the nomadic tribes? You know, and what difficulty as well? Would you like me to try legendary again? Because I did that with my Sparta campaign before. I'd you know I'd give it a go again. See what it's like. Greetings, honored guests. Right, non aggression. I'm gonna try this again. A thousand. Nope. Okay. <laughs> non aggression. Here we go. No money involved. Oh, look at this army here. Shit. 11 units there. Uh, got a. What to do? What to do, guys? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna try the old merge trick. There we go. I've only got one unit left now. I can. I could disband this. How many turns? Four. Ah, we'll leave it for now. I don't want a naval battle. Bugger that. We'll just stay where we are for now. And we'll go into the 45, 45 stance. For the sake of it. <laughs> no, because we need. They attack me, Tingus, they should reinforce there. Plenty of money to use up. I'm trying to think of the best way to use it. Kartuba can be upgraded. I can have a Temple of Eshmun, that'll give me more food. That's important, we'll get, we'll get that. We actually have a fishing port now. So our food's gone back up. We'll also have a proper port as well soon. Ready for orders. I can actually merge these now as well. I'm happy to merge them. There we go. All merged up apart from this one unit of Libyan Hoblites. Disband that bullshit. Give a bit more money next turn. And about actually I've got a bad army here now, have we? And I'm gonna not recruit anything else now until the next turn when this is built, so I can actually start building some some cavalry to accompany it, maybe some African pikemen as well. And then I can get that full stack from here and go to town on these guys over here, the Dim in Dimidi and Isle, the Masa Ely, who are currently troubling us here in the ocean. I'm not going to attack them though because I don't like naval battles, I suck at naval battles. Ready for battle. I could actually start recruiting a few units here. Yeah, we'll get another unit here just in case. <laughs> End turn again. So yeah, just end turn in quite a bit now, but not much else is happening on the campaign at the moment. Just trying to rebuild everything, make sure I've got plenty of food going around my empire, making sure I've got some additional troops coming in to be recruited. Man, that's a strong looking Athens army in Apollonia. I may actually check the relations with the other factions, because I haven't done that for a, a while, just to see who's at war with who. I hate Libya. I can't believe they took Carthage from me. Bastards. I couldn't fight that battle. There's three armies, three full stack armies against me. It was completely insane. Anyway, sabotage. Oh my god. Gadira. No. Epirus, what are you doing? Oh, they must have lost Apollonia, of course. Okay. Um, they're not attacking me. It's, they've gone They've gone from hyper aggressive to, to rebuilding everything, basically. Suits me though. <laughs> Grand Republic of Ars. I need to take Carter Dash. I might be go on the offensive in a few moments. We're actually getting minus three, which is kind of irritating. I'm gonna get plus two in a few turns though when this Temple of Eshmun is built. Melkart's Justice. I need some new. I need, I need some cool names for my armies because uh, I think Melkart's Justice sounds a bit crap. Uh, nothing else can be built in in this region, and nothing else. I can actually rebuild this. Oh, I can't actually. I've got enough money. Um, I don't mind about that for now because we're getting good relations. We've got plus three each turn, so things are creeping up slowly. Oh, pardon me. I can actually build. Oh, I remember now. I can build this. Look at this. Oh, this is lovely to see, isn't it? Some units. Cool. Look at this. Libyan infantry. Oh, oh my God. I'm getting a hard on right now. I haven't seen this met much units for a long time in this campaign. Uh, what to recruit? I could start disbanding some of these. Might be worth disbanding a couple. I may do that. So we got levy pike, heavy pike infantry at the moment, and levy pikemen. There we go, levy pikemen. I read that wrong. We need cavalry, Carthaginian cavalry. So you need 118 upkeep, 98 upkeep. 
Numidian going better, missile damage range. Melee attack is 12 on them, it's 26 on these. Weapon damage 20, weapon damage 33. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a unit of Carthaginian cavalry, I think. And I'm gonna go with a levy pikeman again. And I'm gonna disband two units from here to give me a bit more funds for next turn. So that will do for now there. I have a decent army coming from Migdol. And this army now is doing pretty well as well. Yeah, it's doing well there. Just looking around to see if anything can be upgraded or anything. We're out of funds again now, so... Oh, I remember I was going to do diplomacy. Who's at war with who? Right, let's see. Rome is at war with a lot of people. <laughs> My god, Carthage, Macedon, Epirus, Sparta, Etruscan League, RDI... Liguria and the slaves. Rome's screwed. They've only got one province left as well. My god. Who would have thought it? The Punic Wars. Carthage and Rome. Rome went over here. Carthage went over here. <laughs> and we look quite good. We're looking quite good. Who likes us? Not many people like us. Liguria. Can we actually have some of the Liguria now? Some trade? Nope. It's not fair. Oh, Etruscan League. We can trade with you again. Trade. And. Can you give me some money for it? 500, moderate. What about 1000? Low, okay, we'll go with the 500 then, in that case. Plus trade. Ah, oh, come on. Just trade? No? Oh my god. Bastards, right. I thought that was going to work. Okay, well, we'll end turn there. Ah, let's check the time. What's the time now? Nine o'clock. Probably record for another twenty odd minutes. That would have taken me to about an hour. I'll probably do three episodes. So episode fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen this will be, I think. If I, if my maths is correct. But yeah. What what would you like me to do? You know, if I did a second Rome Total War or Total War Rome Two campaign. Which faction would you want me to play as? I know Epirus has got some new unit units after that uh, patch, patch ten. So maybe, maybe Epirus, um, maybe one of the nomadic tribes, maybe the Iceni. I haven't played the Iceni yet. That'd be a good one, perhaps. Or the Averni. Anyway, we got. Yeah, that looks pretty. That looks pretty badass now. Carthaginian cavalry as well with the levy pikes. I'm gonna get rid of all these Libyan hoplites eventually. See, so for now though, if I move these out, a uh, public order goes down. So I don't want that at the moment. So we just just sit tight at the moment. Balhamun be praised. So I need to get some more units here. And how do I do this? I want these shitty units. Oops. Why can't we do this? Don't make sense. Bring them out. Oh, it's because we're at the stance we're in, idiot. Alright, this is the one in the city. I want to get rid of this crap. Some of this bullshit. So we'll take three units there, plus three of them. There we go. This army now can go back in Tingis. This army is being built to crush things. We're looking at the Carthaginian Hoplites, Libyan infantry, let's see, weapon attack is better on the Libyans, weapon damage is better on the Libyans, bonus versus large infantry, bonus versus large, large war, large elephants, ah right, that's the Hoplites. Um, what have we got, some Hoplites, I go with the uh, Carthaginian Hoplites got the weak, lowest upkeep, Levy Pikemen, I got some of them though. African pikemen, uh, quite weak. I'm gonna go with the L Libyan infantry. Go for one of them, and I'm gonna go with the unit of cavalry. I'm gonna go with the Carthaginian cavalry here. So slowly, I'm building up more armies. That's the thing I'm doing for the next like turn or two or next few turns. Cartuba's finest, looking pretty good now. I'll eventually start disbanding. I'm gonna disband another one of these actually. 
bit more money next turn, less mouths to feed with the with the food. And we're looking pretty good. I gotta try to work out why where I'm gonna attack next though, because I'm gonna have two armies basically in Africa. So one or two of them could go to Demidi and Iol. But I need a decent army up here which I don't have. I have this army sitting in Kartuba. Can't recruit anything at the moment because I got no funds left. Huh, I need to attack somewhere. I could go for Keltiki. Are the Keltiki at war with they are the Lusitani? That's the Lusitani over there. So we'll go for Keltiki over there, I think, to expand our southern border. Then bring everything towards the Gaetuli. We haven't discovered them yet, so I don't know how they feel towards me, those Satani. But I'm sure we'll soon find out. <laughs> I wish I had some agents. Just to sort of spy ahead and see see what's happening. Something I'd need drastically in this campaign. Some good agents. I, I don't I'm not that fast on agents though in this game, you know some of them are way overpowered, they can just stop armies, completely poison armies. And I know it. It's weird as well because you've got champions, agents, and diplomats, and they all do the same thing basically. They can all kill people, they can all do the same things, insult riots, revolts, poison wells, and it just don't make sense. So I think it's a good idea, but it could have been implemented much better than how it was implemented. Anyway, sabotage. Oh, right, who is this? Oh, oh shit, what's happening? Right. Right, so we got these bastards here. Oh, they, they, they're in force march. Can we hit them from here? Oh, not quite. But we can come to here. And we're going to go into fortify. I got all these pikes and elephants. Plus I got my cavalry and Libyan infantry now. So I'd like to see them try and get through this by here. They can't actually get through anywhere else. I don't think they can actually go through here, I'm not sure. They may suffer attrition if they go off the path. I'm not I'm not quite sure guys. But how many units they got? Ten and nine. So they've got more or less a full stack between them. Oh, they're in force marsh, I wish I could hit them. Oh look at this bullshit here. They got fifteen and eleven. Oh my god, right. We're gonna have to bring the you the people out of Migdal, I think, eventually. Can I Oh, we can bring them out now. That's good news for me. Can't get any mercenaries, which is a bit of a shame. What we can do though is let's go as far as here. Keep the ships in Migdol for now. In case this navy comes and attacks. We can recruit from here. And how am I gonna do this? Let me see. What we got? We got Libyan hoplites. Levy Pikes, Carthaginian Hoplites, could go for some of them. All of these will take a turn to build anyway. I've got the funds, there are a thousand and something. I, I need more troops quickly though, don't I, to overpower, so I might just go with... I've got no missiles. I would go with Libyan Javelinmen, because I've got no missiles. Just go for two of them, just to help out with the missiles side of things. They, this infantry, got infantry there. I need to balance this side a bit more, so we go with some javelin here in case Gadida gets attacked, because Gadida could very well be be lost. Although we got some garrison there, but they got so much so much shit. It's unbelievable. Kartuba can have something built. What can we have built? Oh, we can expand undeveloped land. Expand them, please. Oh, look at this. We can have a workshop. We are going to get that workshop, people. How many turns going to take to get the money to build a workshop? Quite a while. Need more trade. Consecrated ground. Oh, I need that workshop. If I don't build something quickly as well, we're gonna be struggling to with the population. So yeah. Anyway, we'll end turn, we'll see what happens. I sense a battle coming up, I do. I sense a battle with the Masa Ili. And I don't like my odds, but I'm trying my best to counteract this. You know, as you can tell, I made some mistakes in this uh, campaign earlier on. And I need to try my best to not make any more mistakes. Otherwise, I'm screwed. The Gate Tuli haven't done anything. Liguria. Masaili, here we go. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, they've attacked me. At Tingis.